Hey guys, it's John coming back to you from our tiny cabin project. Uh, not that you don't know me, but if you don't and if you haven't seen our videos, you should click the like and subscribe button. Uh, so today I'm doing another metal detecting video and I'm really excited because it is the first day I've got to go metal detecting since I started this new hobby that it's been under 80 degrees in St. Louis. Uh, so we're out at a place called Crondelet Park. Uh, I am by the lake right now. That's actually the lake behind me, but it's filled with so much algae that it looks like grass. But yeah, uh, it's about 76 degrees in the sun. It's like 70 in the shade, so it's really nice. And we're going to see what we can find here um, in the park today. So stay tuned. <music> first find of the day was a pull tab and this big mealworm dude, whatever you call them. He is huge. Alright guys, so I've heard a lot about this park being a very trashy park and um, there was actually like a blog or article or something I read on it uh, where they said they actually mixed in a lot of trash with the soil and I'm hoping that's not true. Uh, but, if you can see that, found another pool tab. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to dig through a lot of trash in the park uh, because I really don't want to miss any silver if there is any silver here. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the oldest uh, parks in St. Louis, so I'm going to be digging a lot today. On to the next. All right, you guys, um, I moved to a different spot in the park, and I think I may have just found my first piece of a bullet. Um, it looks like the bottom part of a shell casing. So, let's see if you can see that. I might be completely wrong, but that part is hollowed out. Sorry, I had a bug in my ear. So, this part is hollowed out. It looks like a piece of a bullet in the park. And this is a really old park. Um, I'll let you know uh, later in the video or down in the description um, how old this park actually is because I forget the date. But let's see if I can get dirt out of it. Yeah, I'm not going to get the dirt out, but you can see it's hollow and it looks like the piece to a bullet. So, this area of the park, I might be onto something. That's pretty neat. It's a lot better than a pull tab, even if it's newer. Alright, well, I'm going to put that in my goodies bag. It'll be the first thing in a goodies bag. Uh, and looks like some kind of old uh, rusty nail or screw of some sort. Now it wasn't ringing up as iron, it was ringing up more in the middle like, um, like a nickel. Um, actually let's run over it real quick with the metal detector and see what it is. Maybe it was ringing up its iron. Maybe that's not what was ringing up. Maybe there's something else in there. Huh. Alright, well I'm going to dig in that cloth there and see if there's something else ringing in there. By the way, I got a new metal detector. Uh, Charles got this one for me. It is the uh, uh, Garrett. It is the Ace 200. Uh, this metal detector is pretty cool. It's got a zero discrimination mode, a jewelry mode, and a coins mode. 
and then you can also set your sensitivity and it tells you your coin depth. Um, I find this guy to be really accurate. It's got a small, I think it's a 5x8 uh, inch coil on it, but it is really good. I love it. And I haven't seen a lot of YouTube videos with the Garrett Ace 200, so I will do some reviews on this model and show you guys a little how it works. But first, I'm gonna dig through that plug with my 10 pointer and see if there's anything else. Alright, so you guys can see what I'm dealing with. Another pull tab. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, I don't know if it's true on like the. Um, the Garrett Ace Pros and all that stuff, uh, but on a Garrett, Garrett Ace 200, if you've got a signal that's bouncing around and it's kind of hard to pinpoint or find, avoid temptation because it's usually going to be trash of some sort. Um, I also find anything that goes like above 95, usually like 96, 97, 99, uh, that's usually trash. So. I'll have to wait until I find my first uh, actual silver coin to see what that rings up as. Hopefully we find one today. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we got our first coin. It was uh, right on the surface. Um, it's a new modern penny. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Modern penny. Let's see if I can uh, find a date on this. Okay, looks like 5 dig Alright guys, well that was interesting. So at first I thought this was a pull tab, but it's not. This is um... Honestly, I don't have a clue what this is. It's not like super bendy. And it's not a normal pull tab, it looks like some kind of buckle maybe, or a, a clamp for some kind, I know I'm moving it around a lot. Some kind of buckle or a clamp off of a piece of clothing or a bag maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have any idea. Drop it in the comments and let me know what you think that this might be. Alright, on to the next. An upsetting moment in time. It was ringing up as a solid nickel. Budweiser! So I decided to walk over in a different spot because after I found that cool little gizmo and the bullet. I was finding a lot of trash and I've only ever metal detected this park once before. Look around, check around different areas. Uh, if you can see behind me, there's actually a playground back there, but there's probably like 50 kids right now. And I am still kind of shy about uh, metal detecting around people. Uh, so I'm gonna check out an area called the Boathouse. 
uh, where they actually have a boathouse and a man-made little lake, pond, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's probably one of the oldest parts of this park. Uh, so I'm going to check out probably around here, uh, maybe actually around the street. So if you see behind me, um, I don't know how well you can see, but the boathouse is back there, right there. And um, the lake and a water fountain and a big field right here. So I'm gonna check this out. Central oil focus. Yeah. Uh, what is this? It is a solid metal ball. One side has this smooth little circle on it that's actually flat. And then it's got a, like a line to it here. At first I thought it might be some kind of fishing weight, but I've never seen a fishing weight like that. Uh, it doesn't seem like the kind of metal that fishing weights are made out of. They're usually gray and dull. And this is actually shiny and silver. And it's pretty heavy. And like, give a size reference, I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, let me know if you have any idea what this is because I'm lost. I have no idea what this is. So let me know down in the comments any suggestions. All right. Okay, so it's just amazing how small of an item that this metal detector can pick up. All right, let's see if you guys can see that. That little round thing, I am pretty sure is the piece off a of lighter. It's one of the... Um, I know you're not getting the best view and I'm sorry. It's one of the little things in a lighter that you actually the flick to make the spark. Um, yeah, I found that about half a foot down. Pretty interesting. Alright, alright guys. So, I found another coin. And I'll go ahead and tell you it's modern. So, it is a... 2015 penny and it's got the you see it's got the badge on it so I'm using my front facing camera because it's easier for me to film that way but I do lose a little bit of quality so I'm sorry if that's not focusing um, but yeah, 2015 penny. I usually hate these, but this one actually came out of the ground. Really pretty. Alright guys, so I think that's going to wrap up this little metal detecting adventure for the day. Got a few cool finds and a couple little mysteries. Uh, going to get them home and get them cleaned up. And I will give you a cleaned up view of them at the end of the video. got some long rusty nail, two short nail screw type things that I really don't know where they lift onto. Then we've got a shell casing to a bullet, uh, looks like a center fire round, I don't really know from what. Then we've got this unidentified object. Looks like it would have been some sort of clamp or buckle of some sort, but I don't really know. Got our mystery silver ball here. It looks like it was split down the middle, almost like a split shot fishing weight, but it's pretty big. It doesn't look like it's made out of the material that they're usually made out of, and it's got that flat piece on the bottom. So if you guys have any idea what that is, post it down in the comments and let me know. And then we've got two modern pennies. First penny we've got is from 
$19.99. And then the other penny is from 2015. those were the finds today. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for next time.